Hey guys, what's up? The Life here, and I am here with a game called The Wardrobe. It's a pretty cool looking game, getting really good reviews on Steam, and I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, I don't know much about this game, but from the pictures, it's showing the kid with the blonde hair disappears, and the kid with the black hair becomes a skeleton. So I have no idea what's going on, and his face is always hidden as well, except for his butt up there, his booty. This is the story of two young guys. Bound in friendship and in destiny. Okay. It's supposed to be a Rob funny game, too. Skinny, as often happened, went out for a picnic together to spend the day in the neighborhood countryside. Okay. Some... Suddenly, Ronald pulled a couple of little plums out of his basket and gave one of them to his friend. Oh. Is he going to choke on it? Mmm, delicious. Deliciously <gasps> lethal. <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. <laughs> the boy's corpse stayed there for hours, enveloped by blades of grass, until all of a sudden, something happened. Oh. A new spark was instilled in Skinny's body, reduced abruptly to a skeleton, and slammed him inside Ronald's wardrobe, cursed to watch over his friend for the rest of his days. Or at least until today, when our story starts. Aha! So that's what the story's about. So basically... <laughs> Look at all those license plates. So there I am. Morning, sunshine. Hi, Nat. Forgive me, but I didn't sleep very well tonight. Are you sure you really want to talk to him? I have no other choice. He'll have a heart attack if you ask me, and he'll end up keeping you company in the wardrobe. I really hope not. <laughs> oh, so I have to... Now I have to tell Ronald. So I'm skinny. I'm playing a skinny. I'm dead and I'm cursed. Do you know where Ronald's gone? Do you know where Ronald's gone? Everybody left a couple of hours ago, but I don't know where they went. They were so he... all very nervous. I don't know why exactly. It'll be the usual sale at the mall. The Mother Superior must have straightened them up as usual. What? The Mother Superior? When will you stop eating those things? When will you stop eating those things? Would you care for some, maybe? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm allergic to plums? Oh yeah, he's Just allergic. Just looking at them, I'm getting hives. Man, you don't have any skin at all. And anyway, they're <laughs> nuts. Otherwise, why would Ronald have given me this name? He probably just wanted to be alternative. You're a lost cause. <laughs> hasn't Ronald spoken yet? Hasn't Ronald spoken yet? You should know that by now. He hasn't said a word since you died in front of his eyes. I don't want his soul to be damned forever. If that stubborn guy won't open his lips for himself, I'll take steps to loosen his tongue. Whoa. Don't hurt him too much. I have to run to the bathroom. I have to run to the bathroom. All this excitement loosened my bladder. <laughs> what? How can I... A short while later. How can I go to the bathroom? When I... Oh. I like this room. Start here then. Put the little pet in the van. In the <gasps> meantime, I'll prepare the boxes in the living room. Are and they don't moving? do it like last time when you got hit by a car while loading the stuff. Oh. There are colored books on the wall. <laughs> but you don't even know which side a book opens on. Oh! I like colored books. <laughs> Do you know what I don't like? <gasps> Working for free to pay for broken things marked fragile. Do you understand? Oh. This carpet. <laughs> it's soft as a marshmallow. I like this guy. I like marshmallows. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is going I on? I should have listened to my dad when he told me to be a florist. <laughs> His name is Mario, by the way. I saw his name tag. Alright, so they're moving uh, stuff. I really needed a shower. <laughs> Born to rot. Boss, it won't open. <gasps> Let's keep working on the ground floor then. In the meantime, I'll ask the lady about a key. Uh, I'm afraid this damn move will take longer than expected. Move? Yeah, they're moving. You gotta get in the wardrobe. <laughs> He's just looking around. What should I do now? <laughs> He's looking at me. I'm coming, I'm coming. Apologies for the delay. I was late with a tutorial of another video game. <laughs> Players are not what they used to be anymore. Yeah. Let's uh, cut to the chase. I'm here to explain the game controls to you. All right. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you, Skinny. <laughs> Let your player decide. 
I admit it would be very useful. Go ahead. I'm an expert adventurer. I don't need any help. I usually would say that, but I've been getting fucked by not doing tutorials, so let's go ahead. Perfect. Let's start with the basic commands. The mouse left click is used to move around your surroundings. Okay. So Holding it's... the right click and then releasing it on one of the available actions, you'll interact with the elements of the scene. Okay. Try with the chainsaw. <laughs> okay. There's a chainsaw on the bat. Oh, I just noticed that. Why is there a chainsaw in the bathroom? I just noticed this toilet paper rack thing is a is a skateboard. That's pretty freaking sweet. I just noticed that. All right. Just look Don't at it. Don't ask any questions. Believe me. Uh, Skinny, <laughs> try to be a little more accommodating. <laughs> this is a tutorial. Yeah. Now try to open the green satchel. Try to open. I, I can't. I kind of wanted to try to open. All right, so it's this. It was the wrong interaction, but don't worry. This is used to pick something up. I would like you to open it instead. Okay, so that's to pick something up. Open? There is something inside the satchel. Try to pick it up. Okay. Ma, there's gold in this here bag. <laughs> what? Uh, no, it's just pyrite. Don't be fooled by appearances. It could be more useful than you can imagine. Yeah. For some hot spots, there's only one action available. Okay. So a left click with your mouse will be enough. And try to check okay. out the bin. The bin. All right, so there's just one. Was this really necessary? <laughs> the player asked for our help. It's important to learn the game controls. Yes, it's important, Skinny. <gasps> and now if you'll excuse me. That's I'm Plank. I... That's Plank from Ed and Nettie. If you don't know what that is, shame on you. Go watch Ed Ed Nettie. That's Plank from Ed Ed Nettie. That is so awesome. Let's just say I'm not exactly interested in the item. But I am. Why the fuck is there a chainsaw? 201 times is more than enough. <sighs> okay, so what's this? I prefer to have a moment of silence in memory of your brain. <gasps> Jesus, he's so... He's roasting me. Even at his age, Ronald can't really get enough of squeezing this thing. I can't imagine what the bear would do to Ronald if he still had his spine. I'd give him a nice tattoo on his back for starters. You have to understand, the bear is convinced he's married to the duck. <laughs> Can I, take... I don't want any trouble. Wise oh. decision. <laughs> Bones off. <laughs> I wouldn't try. The bear gets jealous easily. I'm watching you. <laughs> Can I do stuff with the bear? I must say that he has the softest fur. Nothing soft about you stepping on my back. <laughs> Hi, bear. <laughs> oh, I can talk to him. What's new? What's new? Nothing. Since I'm forced to stare at the sink. Hope I'll be <laughs> luckier in the new house. Do you want me to give you your happy pills? What? Do you want me to give you your happy pills? How many times do I have to tell you that I don't need them? <laughs> Besides, I have my duck. She makes me feel good. <laughs> How do you feel, do you about, feel this about this move? I hope I don't end up in a bathroom in front of another dripping sink, or I'll go completely crazy. You better find a way to get out of this house and into that van. What are you waiting for? I wanted to talk to you. Did you see, Did Ronald? You see Ronald? If you mean naked, yes. Every single day. And <laughs> it's not a pretty sight. Come on, Bear. You know very well what I meant. Early this morning. Usual time. He was a little down in the dumps. I mean, more than ever. But nothing particularly suspicious. Have you had any other hallucinations? Have you had any other hallucinations since the last time? Luckily not, Mr. Hunter. There, I'm skinny. I'm just messing with you. You're the little wuss without a backbone. I would argue that claim. Man, he is freaking I sassy. Go, I guess so. And here's a medicine cabin up here. The psych meds of Cousin Jason. <laughs> Come <laughs> to think of it, we've suddenly lost track of him. <laughs> I took the pills. Squeeze. Squeeze again. <laughs> I squeeze some toothpaste. What is this? Is this marking the day since I've been dead? It's been 12 days. And they didn't find my body. Wouldn't they think that's kind of weird? All right, so there's just a razor. Oh, I could touch this. <laughs> oh, come on. Do you really demand an answer? Yes. Fuck. Wait, what? I, 
I was just explore. Oh. Oh. That hurt. We're in the sewer now. Is that the way we're gonna get into the van? Bye-bye! <gasps> Whoa. Have you seen boss? I opened the door. Bravo, well done. But now let's go. It's lunchtime. I like eating. Then come on, move. <laughs> I like him. All right, so now we're in the sewer. We flushed ourselves. There's what a blow. Yeah. Huh. There's a freaking rat up there. All right, what is this? A Why is there a parking meter down here? This timed parking thing has turned into a real scourge. W who would park something down to here? To do that, I would need a crowbar and a good lawyer. <laughs> My whip is still parked in the wardrobe. Uh, Am I wrong, or are you becoming ridiculous? I just—I don't know what the last thing is. It talking. So the last thing is talking. This is to do something with it. This is to pick it up, and this is to look at it. There's a giant magnet. Can I pick that up? Let's move on and accept it's just part of the scenery. But why is it here? I'd say it speaks for itself. It does not speak for itself. Can I do something with it? Once again, physics is against me. Okay, god fucking damn it, man. There's a bunch of masks here. Can I have one of them? All right, so there's the crocodile. There's also this line here. Not exactly the luckiest fishing trip I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, let's talk to him. Why are you so scared of him? He's Hi. fine. Hi. Hi, little bag of bones. I just realized he's very weird looking. I thought he was like bulky, but he's not. Does that say thug life on him? <laughs> it does. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. As skinny as you are, you wouldn't even be useful for chicken stock. Hey, excuse me if I care about my figure. <laughs> you don't look too good. How are you? You don't look too good. How are you? I have an unbearable pain in my tooth. Mm, something must be stuck in it. Would you like to take a look at it? Oh. Fine. Th that's okay. Uh. There's something in there indeed, but I don't think I can remove it with my bare hands. I'm sure you're a really nice guy at heart, right? I'm sure you're a really nice guy at heart, right? Actually, I just escaped from a <laughs> maximum security prison for reptiles. I was locked up because I slit the throats of my neighbors with a fishbone. They were too loud, and I couldn't sleep. I promise I will never do anything to upset you. I'm just messing with <laughs> you, stupid bag of bones. Aww. You're not I'm funny at all. See you around. See you around. Alright, so... We need to help him. He can probably do stuff for us. Can I do something? It would be better to collect your thoughts before acting once in a while. Well, I, he said it's battered. There we go. Okay, so that's an action. Okay, so we're going in here. Ooh, there's a mummy dude in here. <gasps> he's got some cool... Oh, he's got T-Rex in here. Look at that. The T-Rex cowboy. Undisputed ruler of the very wild west until the end of the Cretaceous period. <laughs> it would have been interesting to ask him how he managed to extract his revolver from the holster. Oh yeah, he's a T-Rex with short little arms. This is a really cool game. I like this. There's a blowtorch here. Can we do My something? My grandpa that? worked in a factory welding vehicle body parts. I remember that on his deathbed and completely blind already, he mistook the blowtorch tube for my grandma's arm. May he rest in peace. <sighs> A little too heavy, don't you think? I don't think so. That mummy thing. <gasps> Owl! Is that from, like, Harry Potter? There's so many references here, and I'm not going to get them all. Can I? Ooh. Judging from all the dust and the boyish look of the barman, I'm betting this has seen better days. Can I take it? Okay, I took the mug. Let's talk to the barman. And this is why we complain about youth unemployment. <laughs> what? Nice place you have here. Oh. Were you in... <laughs> Aww, King Tut relatives? Were you in Tutankhamun relatives? No, it's because I see a strong resemblance. Maybe it's the nose. <laughs> he doesn't talk. I could have sworn it, you know that? Did you have an accident with the cat? Did you have an accident with the cat? You must have really driven it mad to need all those bandages. Oh, I'm making jokes. I got it. You're a Tibetan monk under a vow I got of silence. It. You're a Tibetan monk under a vow of silence. He doesn't have a mouth. Damn it! I was sure I was right this time. Were you one of the Were queen's, you one of the queen's guards? 
He's gonna he throw you out. Or deny it. I understand. Has anyone ever told you a really? Has anyone ever told you you're really good at listening? <laughs> Seriously, don't be so modest. I better. I would stay yeah. and chat with you for hours, but I wouldn't presume to impose upon your time. <laughs> All right, is there anything back here that we can touch? Chast. Wait. Chastity belt? Cock a doodle, don't. There's a chastity belt on the rooster. You'll never know what I hide under my inventory. Never. Oh shit, look at that. So if you scroll, this shows you the inventory. So we have pyrite, pills, and a mug. I'm running out of ideas. So you can combine stuff in here. This is kind of cool. I like this. So then this shows like everything you're gonna have interactions with. Which is pretty snazzy. This game is really cool. Can I... It seems to me that it's done its job all too well until now. <laughs> it's murdered it. All right, so let's go upstairs. That's the last thing we can... Uh... How do I go? There we go. Let's go upstairs. Oh. Wait, was that the basement? That's where that door led. And for all these years, nobody ever bothered to force it. <laughs> they got some cool stuff here. All right, so there's a robot. He seems to be a bit short on energy. Help him out. Hi, little robot. C1 is not programmed to talk. But you just did it. C1 is not programmed to explain itself. <laughs> what if I took out your batteries? What if I took out your batteries? Would you still be in the mood to show such attitude? Oh. C1 is programmed to run on solar energy. Don't provoke me, or I'll hit you with a hammer. <laughs> You're looking worse for wear. You're looking worse for wear. C1 isn't tired. C1 is running data. Why don't you turn tail in the meantime? If those two catch you, you'll end up in a box, you know that? C1 is not programmed to do it. Are you telling me you can't do two things at the same time? C1 hasn't got the updated firmware. Right, <laughs> everybody says that. Hey, bip, oh, okay, I gotta make fun of them. Beep, beep, bzz, bzz. C1 finds this ring insulting. <laughs> C1 has had it up to his valves with you. Come on, don't be so salty. Don't forget we applied for a Peggy 3 rating. Be careful what you say. <laughs> what about the three laws of robotics? What about the three laws of robotics? C1 thinks you've seen too many sci-fi movies. C1 could easily pierce your skull with a laser beam and use it as a bowling ball if he wanted to. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the clarification. Damn. Good luck with, Good your, luck calculations. with your calculations. Calculations. All right. So there's a, there's a. What the fuck is this shit? Like flypaper? Maybe it's anti-aesthetic, but it's certainly effective. Can I take it? I don't want to end up like those who were here before me. <laughs> All right. It's the old alarm clock Ronald used when he was a small child. Didn't think he still had it. Can I take it? I took the clock. Okay. Is there anything else here? There's this vase. Hitchhiking hand? It's a hard life for hitchhikers. <laughs> I really have to ask you this. Looking for a lift to the ninth underworld? <laughs> Alright, so we have this picture up here. Zeno has always been an introverted guy, but I consider him a dear friend. I rarely saw him not holding a novel. Hmm. Never seen such a passion for books. Gotcha. Can I talk Don't to it? Don't be afraid of the outside world, Zeno. I understand perfectly how you feel. Is there anything else? That's from Pikmin, isn't it? There's so many references in here. Uh, we talked to everything here, so we have two things. We can go upstairs, or in the kitchen, or in this door over here. What's in here? Oh, it's outside. Oh, they're, they're having food. So we can't really do anything. A little souvenir from Easter Island. We had some trouble at customs, but it was worth it. Okay, so there's ants coming inside the house. I don't think there's anything I can do out here. Legend has it that when Ronald's father is able to pull it out from the floor, it'll finally be him wearing the pants in the family. Actually, it would be useless anyway, but he doesn't know that. Is that guy seeing me and keeps going, <gasps> can I grab Nobody it? can get it out, as it seems to be stuck in the plumbing of the town's water supply. The mayor has even declared it a criminal offense just to attempt to force it out. Damn. Oh, it's that fish that's making the noise. The trophy of a fishing trip. An unequal contest won with firecrackers and nail guns. Undoubtedly, this is the manliest thing Ronald's father has ever done. I'm sure if he could talk, there'd be a whole lot of swearing. <laughs> yeah. 
He doesn't seem very happy. Grab this it. is a request you'll have to put forward to my lawyer. <laughs> Do something with it. I've done it. more than enough with the plums. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we, yeah, we definitely can't go out there. So we can go in here. We can go in this room over here. Surely someone could give a good cleaning around here once in a while. Cherries or die. <laughs> All right, so we have this little... What? Teddy dead? He was gunned down by a barrage of point-blank peas. And they <laughs> say vegetables are good for your health. <laughs> can I talk to him? I'm cold, John. Teddy, it's skinny. Hold on, my friend. John, where are you, John? I can't see you, John. I'm here, mate. It's Skinny. It's all dark in here, John. Please don't die, Teddy. Keep holding on. It'll be okay. Oh. Teddy? Teddy, answer me. Teddy's dead. No! <laughs> Teddy! Anyway, it's Skinny. <laughs> Is he still okay? He looks like he's gonna be okay. Can I talk to him again? Go. And teach the angels to be cuddly. <laughs> Alright, so we got some junk. A couple of pots, some ladles, and jars with spices of dubious geographical origin. Can I take something out of it? How did this get in here? What'd I get? Did I take something? Oh, I got a recorder. Okay, so I took a recorder. Can I do something with it? There's something unhealthy about asking me to do this. All right, so don't think we have anything to do in there. What else we got? We have this thing. Taste? How can I taste? Mm, I never tasted anything so delicious. Oh, it's good, apparently. There's a little chicken here. All right, so there's an outline. When Ronald moved into this house, the forensic guys had just unsealed the kitchen. When the investigation was closed, his parents decided to leave the outline of the body on the table. <laughs> I have to admit that it gives an extra kick to breakfast, though. <laughs> okay. What is this thing? Z8? It's a big computer brain able to monitor all the household appliances to prevent domestic accidents. Okay. Computer update. Computer update. The situation is under control, sir. There are no circumstances that could jeopardize the bystander's safety or the correct operation of home devices. Well done, soldier. At ease. <laughs> Computer deactivate. Computer deactivate. Negative, sir. I can't disregard the duties for which I've been assembled, sir. Are you refusing to execute one of my orders, soldier? I'm sorry, sir. I can't do differently, sir. <laughs> Computer. Detailed work history. Two years, two months, and 21 days of duty, sir. Nine accidents, 24 household mishaps, five fires prevented, sir. And what about the time you almost killed the cat? You smoked some of the herbs in the living room, didn't you, soldier? I'm embarrassed for what happened, sir. Sorry again, sir. <laughs> Computer. Computer, recall origin of service. I'm here due to a fire caused by the combustion of red hot oil from a pan with some water. A mammoth blaze indeed, soldier. Four fire trucks, two ambulances, one FBI unit rushed in a matter of ten minutes, sir. And a team of Doctors Without Borders, which, alarmed by the general mayhem, deemed fit to show its support. <laughs> All right, computer, computer to dismiss. This. Jesus. All right, did we get everything in here? Except for this. Post-its. Calling them post-its is an understatement. They're more like threatening messages that Ronald's mother leaves for her husband when she goes to work. <laughs> like, I don't know, let's see. No, this is too degrading. Better avoid. <laughs> With this one, I think there might be grounds to sue. <laughs> okay, that's readable. Don't forget to pick up the clothes at the cleaners or you'll be the one hung out to dry. That's amore. <laughs> Can I take these or no? Never mind. Okay. I can't. Don't you think you're going too far? I don't know. I thought maybe I could read them out. I actually wanted to hear some of them, okay? So now we can go upstairs. I still don't know what we have to do. Maybe we're supposed to make a disguise? What is this pic? <gasps> There's a Slender Man picture! I know where this is going. With this trick, we lost four relatives in eight of the cat's nine lives. <laughs> that critter won't get closer to the living room, even under torture. Can I talk Better to him? Better not open channels of dialogue with this kind of person. I like him, take it. I can't and mostly don't want to touch it. It's Mr. Slenderman. This game's got a lot of so many references. And that's from Roger Rabbit. 
That's from Toy Story. There's so much shit in here that I know. And there's stuff I'm not gonna know. There's Twister. Lobotomize yourself? Wait, what? <gasps> this is bank robbery. I guess because when you watch TV, you're basically not doing anything. All right, is there anything I could do with- is that a recorder that we had? I should turn it on first. Can I do something? Yeah, we get to use the tape on this. Do it. Oh wait, am I recording this? Oh, I had to record it for some reason. Okay. I got you. I didn't even know I had to do that. I'm stumbling upon this stuff. Okay, so what's this? Dust monster? It's a sort of big ball of dust. Can I talk and to who him? who the hell are you? Have some respect, stupid bony human. You're looking at the future conqueror of the world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have Only that? dumb characters in this game. Don't laugh. That goes for you, too. Jumping Jiminy. Jumping Jiminy. Not me. I can't jump. I have no legs. And my name's not Jiminy. I meant, where did you come from? From under the hardwood floor. I was stuck there for years. But now I'm finally free and will have my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna get your revenge? You look pretty harmless to Listen, me. Listen, not to curb your enthusiasm, but you uh, look pretty harmless to me. What? I mean, you don't look blessed with any particular abilities or yeah. of great intellect or any intellect. I'm, I'm you can't roasting expect him. To get very far without a well-constructed plan. He's getting roasted. Ah, huh. all right. Think about it, okay? All right. Who would your nemesis? <laughs> who would be your nemesis, the Swiffer? Who would be your nemesis, the Swiffer? I don't know any Swiffer. Forget it. I have to go. Bye. All right, so that was done. There's a bunch of stuff. Is that Grandma? I still remember the day I didn't notice her, but she saw me. Fortunately, she mistook me for Ronald. She fattened him up for the next three months. <gasps> oh, she saw him as a skeleton. So then she kept giving Ronald food because she thought... Now I finally have the courage to tell you. A while back, I skipped dinner. <laughs> Please, Grandma, don't look at me that way. <laughs> Stop glaring at me, old judgy-eyed. Okay, you win. I'll go and get a sandwich right now. <laughs> Urn with ashes. This contains the ashes of Grandma. May she rest in peace. Take it. I confess I've always been curious. An ending so unexpected. Ah, uh, um, just another small interruption to tell you that it may sometime be possible to pick up the same object more than once. Another belated oh. circumstance where you show your negligence. But thanks for the tip. So I can pick it up again? More candy? So there was candy in there. So I feel like I use it, it's gum. If I use it, I can go back and grab it. Okay. As they always say, you never know what might come in handy. Can we take the dentures too? What is this? Okay, let's go in here. What happened to my wardrobe? I can't be separated from my wardrobe. It's a matter of life or death. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> Jerry's home? What? There's a drill One down of the here. Movers must have left it here. Can I take it? Yeah, we got a drill, so I have a bunch of shit. I can play this game. Do you think this is the right moment to play games? It's always right time to play games. Do you think this is- It is, it is. Okay, buddy? All right, so there's, uh... There's two more things we can do. There's this. I can unscrew this? Man, what an epic fail. Okay, so maybe there's something I have to get with this? It's not a pincer. Oh, so I can't do that. Sigmund a Freud? A disaster I made with some apricot marmalade years ago. I never understood how Ronald's parents could think it was Sigmund Freud's face. There was this, too. Lean out. I sense trouble. 
gossip. One of the countless houses of the Wayne family. Mr. Wayne is not often seen here in the city. He never stops by to talk with anyone. Okay. The Murrays are really very nice people. When we were children, Ronald and I often played with Cooper, but after the divorce, he went to live with his mother. Aha. Uh -huh. That house has been for sale for years, but nobody has ever seen the owners. Nor is it clear if the mysterious Mr. Richards even really exists. Oh, and there's the van. That must be the van of the moving company. I absolutely have to find a way to get in there before they finish and leave. Okay. So what do we do? I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory and I don't know how it works. Stop for a second. I want you to reflect on what you just asked me to do. <gasps> This could start the final battle between the good and the cavities. So I have a police or rob robbery, robbery recording. I have an alarm clock. The use of the mouse is not meant for actions like this. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure what we need to do. Give him some gum, maybe? You would give gum to someone who's already suffering from a toothache? Uh. You have no humanity. <gasps> I'm sorry, I thought it would be good. All right, so without bare hands, give him dentures? I wouldn't know how to use it. Uh, drill? I remind you that the drill is without a tip. This attention deficit of yours is really irritating sometimes. Was I supposed to grab something? Am I supposed to take this line? Ah, <gasps> oh, okay, I was supposed to take that, okay. So is the string now something that I can uh, do with on him? I'm afraid flossing wouldn't be enough. Damn it. There's this ladder. Oh, I didn't see this ladder here before. Want a dead or alive Sanji. Please, give me just one second. I just realized this is the first time I've been out of the house since I died. Wow. Okay, I think I can manage. Let's go. Consume plunes. Crash dummy testy. Congrats. Crash test a rough dummy. Day. Yeah, it's going through the house. Can I talk to it? I understand the crisis and all, but can you really not find a better job than this? <laughs> I think I'm living proof of how awfully wrong this all is. <laughs> um, living, so to speak. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff. I can go back down if I wanted to. Was there anything over here? Missing aliens, missing gun. What is this? Activate. Apparently I blew up something, I don't know. I can read. Disappeared in the night, an old Neptunian alien. A reward of 5,000 quid is offered for any information that leads us to his safe recovery. Call 00 solar 8 554011. Peace and prosperity. The appeal of construction sites knows no interplanetary limits, it seems. All right, so I can read this too. Lost 38 special during a daring getaway by car. A sizable reward in cash and an annual free pizza at Pizzeria Luigi is being offered. If hmm. found, drop in and ask for Don Vito. <laughs> An offer you can't refuse. I love pizza. <laughs> so do I. Uh, there's something down here, an old fork. I hate people who toss out good food, let alone the cutlery too. But if it's a plastic fork. So I got a fork now, garbage. Some spaghetti, leftover chicken, a cereal box, and a couple empty liquor bottles. This one has it all. <laughs> can I take anything out of it? I don't feel like rummaging through the dumpster. Okay, I'm. S can I do... The smell of that bag is sufficient deterrent to stop me from taking any kind of initiative. Okay, well, there's Rapunzel's hair and trying to get out of here. That's so many references. There's a bum. He is a big bum. A huge sleeping guy stands in my way. I don't know why, but I'm having the strangest case of deja vu. I don't think I can wake him up. And I don't want anyone to see me in this outfit anyway. Okay. It's over here. There's a blind on, guy. Let's get a move on. Don't laze around. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to save the game right there. Yes, I want to save the game. I'm going to stop there. If you guys are enjoying this game so far, let me know. When there's we were at war, we dug the pits with our bare hands. Oh my god. There's Slenderman notes here too. 
That's freaking awesome. This game is really crazy. There's also a fucking Bioshock reference up there. God damn, they're crazy with all these things. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way. And there's the dog from fucking up. Okay? This is crazy, man. There's so much shit. And there's, like, this is probably from something. That's probably from something. You guys can put all the references down in the description or down in the comment section if you want. This game's really cool. I like it. And I'm really enjoying it. If you guys would like to see a part two, let me know and we will do some. It's been awesome. I really like it so far. I'm not sure what I have to do, but I'm still not done exploring everything. But I've gotten a bunch of stuff. Probably two, a couple, maybe two more things and get in my inventory. Maybe some stuff down here too. Leave a like down below and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.